Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop with a repair video. It's going to be a little echoey in here for some of this because I'm inside a building. We're going to be rebuilding this solenoid control valve. It's the exact same, if plumbed a little different, but exact same body as a pressure reducing valve. So, the problem is it's leaking through. When you see the parts, you'll understand. There's a diaphragm in there, and there's a sealing disc on the bottom. The water is leaking up in here to keep the chamber full of water, so it's keeping it closed. So no water's passing through. Normally, the solenoid would activate, the water would come off the bonnet and open up. But it's not doing that, so we'll get it ripped apart, and I'll bring you along. So this step, I'll just be turning all the water off, getting the pressure off of it so it's nice and safe, removing this fitting and the uh, eight bolts. Then I'll take a cold chisel and a hammer and take that bonnet off and I'll bring you back. Okay, got the bonnet loose. Pull it off. There's gonna be a spring in there. Spring. So we're safe. Here's the moving part. Now this bottom black ring here, that's by the bronze part, that's the ceiling surface. Sits up against that stainless steel ring in there. There's a little bit of grime on, we'll clean that up. And this diaphragm is the control surface that the water works on each side. So somewhere in there is going to be a little tear. They're really hard to see. So I'll bring, take this out to the truck and I'll bring it back. Okay, so we got it out on the truck. Took the top nut off. This is the retainer for the diaphragm. Peel that off. The holes in here can be really small and hard to see. It only takes a little pinhole. The pressure at this station here is 250 PSI. So just a little hole can let quite a bit of water through. Plus the chamber's not very big. So we'll just put all new parts in it. So there's that part. And that just is sandwiched between these two pieces. And the resilient disc. Is again, the ceiling part. We'll pry out of there. We'll clean up the shaft. I'll measure it, make sure good to go make sure there's no grooves in it because they will wear on this part then there's a pilot bushing uh, it looks like it's been some stuff's been getting in so we'll clean all this guy up we'll put uh all the new parts in and this will be the same for pretty much any clay valve or watts or singer so we'll get everything cleaned up and i'll bring you back Another quick little note here is on this resilient disc. You can usually get one flip out of it. Like see, you can see the pressure groove where it was before. So last time we just flipped it and used it like that. So that's just a little addendum to the video. Okay, I'll keep getting it clean and bring it back when it's all back together. Okay, we got all the new parts on. Now this is the most important part of any diaphragm controlled valve. This nut has to be tight. So it clamps everything so you don't get any leakage through the disc or the diaphragm. Now a lot of these are very poorly designed. You got some flats you can get on, but as you can see, they recess down in there. They're kind of a pain to get on. So what I do, snug it as tight as I can, grab this so you have some friction, and I'll bang it on my tailgate or my bumper to kind of impact it on. Then I'll get on that best I can for the uh, last little bit. But it's 
I'm sure they make a special tool. I've never seen one in their catalogs. But when you go to their training classes and stuff, they focus a lot on getting that nut tight. So I'll get that guy snugged up and I'll bring you back. Okay, we got it back together. And of course, with anything like this, when you put the bolts back in, you know, I go around three times like that, opposite, then twice around. I've never had any problems with anything. So now, I crack the valve down here so we get some of the air out. I crack the guy back open here. Just so we hear a little bit of water. Spraying out of there. Get some of that air out of there. Close that guy. Now the valve's shut right now. The solenoid's shut. So it should be flowing through here on the upstream side, up through here, and into the bonnet to force that thing down. Sometimes you gotta bleed the air out of the upper parts. He's got it cracked. I'll read a bit more. And there. Closed. So now, to lock this open. Turn this guy a few times. Make sure it's working. We're going to take the water off the bonnet. So close the upstream side by opening the Y strainer. That should release the water on the bonnet. It should open. Yeah, how this works, if I get a picture of it, water comes in this way, has to come up through that stainless steel disc and back down. So when this activates this, it forces water on the bonnet and in combination with the spring, forces it down and makes it drip tight. Now like on a pressure reducing valve, there wouldn't be a solenoid, there'd be a pilot, and it would modulate that. But the internals are exactly the same. So, again, it's pretty echoey in here. And I don't know how much this will uh, help anyone, but if it does, um, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.